My name is Eva Gomez Jimenez. I'm a lecturer in English Linguistics and Literature from the University of Granada in Spain, and I'm very much interested in critical discourse analysis, corpus linguistics, and the discourse of economic inequality, among some other research topics. Within the Corpus and Discus series in Bloomsbury, now edited by Mikaela Marburg and Gavin Briggs, and together with Professor Michael Tulan, we have co-edited in 2020 a volume on the discourse of economic inequality in Britain. You can see it in here. It is called The Discursive Construction of Economic Inequality, Cats' Approaches to the British Media. And in this book, Michael and I have gathered together a variety of corpus-assisted discourse studies approaches that have demonstrated how the mass media in Britain have contributed in making sharply increased wealth inequality in this country look perfectly normal. This book covers different topics, such as the Second World War propaganda, the Change for Life anti-obesity campaign, or attitudes to the welfare state, child poverty or austerity, as seen in different means, including TV news, print and online newspapers, or discussions in the British Parliament, just to name a few examples. Research in this book is important for several reasons. Firstly, because it joins together, for the very first time, leading experts who are working in the language of inequality in the British media, including Leslie Jeffries, Jane Malderick, Laura Patterson, Michael Tullan, and the social geographer Danny Dolan. Secondly, because it presents a selection of approaches and methods to another inspected topic, that of the discourse of economic inequality, from a diachronic perspective. Its methods are grounded in critical discourse analysis, critical stylistics, and corpus linguistics. And thirdly, because it examines a wide variety of real texts in contemporary Britain from the early 20th century to 2018. The discursive construction of economic inequality is primarily useful for corpus linguists and critical discourse analysts, not just within linguistics, but also within other fields such as economics, history, anthropology and sociology. And it is also valuable to anyone interested in discovering how wealth inequality has been pictured in Britain, where the social problem has been consistently normalized through language in the public discourse.